Let's Go started at CBC Vancouver as a summer musical series for teenagers, July 17, 1964 to September. There were eight Let's Go shows produced and broadcast locally on CBUT Vancouver, Friday evenings at 7.30 p.m. Fred Latremel and Randy Conlon were hosts, with the classics as the house band. Regular performers were Gillian Russell, Susan Peskelvitz, Susan Jacks, Mike Campbell, Tom Northcutt, Howie Vickers, Marcel Choenard, Stan Kayer, and Ed Whiting. Produced and directed by Ann Sudor, script assistant Chris Payton, studio director Al Vitals. The classics band members were, Tom Baird, keyboard slash writer, Claire Lawrence, sax, Brian Russell, guitar, Glenn Miller, bass, Gary Taylor, drums, Howie Vickers, lead vocalist. First let's go http colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equal sign 2 ys 97 underscore evuxg let's go on September 28, 1964, became part of the CBC network series called Music Hop from five cities during the week at 5.30 to 6 p.m. Performers who joined Let's Go, Patty Serbe, Marty Gillen, Terry Jacks, Joni Taylor, Bobby Falds, and Bonnie Huber. Let's Go shows from CBC Vancouver, were produced and directed by Ann Sudor, 1964-1966, script assistant Chris Payton. Al Vitals produced and directed Let's Go shows in 1966, script assistant was Patsy McDonald. Let Us Go was a daily CBC television entertainment series aired during the 1967-1968 season, featuring musical guests. It was the successor to Music Hop, and the show S title was taken from the Vancouver segment of Music Hop. Each day S episode featured local talent from a different city, moving across the country from east to west, Halifax, Monday, Ottawa, Tuesday, Toronto, Wednesday, Winnipeg, Thursday, and Vancouver, Friday. And Murray appeared on the Halifax show, before she achieved huge popularity with Snowbird. The Winnipeg show was hosted by Chad Allen, the former front man for The Guess Who. The Guess Who, fronted by Burton Cummings, played as the house band in Winnipeg. Susan Jacks, Peskelvitz, was a regular performer on the Vancouver show before becoming the lead singer of the Poppy family. Let Us Go shows, starting in 1967 from Vancouver had a new host, Howie Vickers, followed by Mike Campbell, Terry Jacks, Tom Northcutt, and Terry Frewer, all taking turns. The new house band was named Probably Us, with Bob Buckley, sax, Terry Frewer, guitar, Bob Murphy, keyboard, Doug Edwards, bass, and George Urson, drums. In addition to the regular Let's Go performers, new singers were introduced each week, Jason Hoover, Lynn Brooks, Bruce Bissell, Ted Davis, Nancy Lester, Rick Salem, The Rabel Brothers, Rosalind Keane, Dave Sinclair, Kelly Christopher, Mark Midler, and at Hunborough, Tom and Barry Collins, P.M. Howard, and Rick McCarty. A variety of pop rock groups made appearances such as The Collectors, The Wiki Symphony, The Shockers, The Northwest Company, The Poppy Family, The Seeds of Time, My Indole Ring, Eric Burden, and The Animals, and the new Vaudeville Band. Featured celebrity interviews included Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Wonder, The Everly Brothers, Moody Blues, Righteous Brothers, The Beach Boys, The Monkees, The Yardbirds, and Creedence Clearwater Revival. These Let's Go shows from Vancouver were produced and directed by Ken Gibson, the script assistant was Patsy McDonald.